There are two big trends that I'm seeing right now in the industry. The first is all the data, the massive explosion of data. That's being driven by the new devices, all the applications that people are seeing, the mobile broadband capability, the web, mobile web. The other one is that wireless technology is becoming an enabling technology in lots of interesting new verticals. I see that especially here at ATI in the clean energy space with the smart grid and be able to remotely monitor, control portions of the utility space, the utility grid. And over on our bioscience side as well, we see a lot of devices and therapeutic capabilities using wireless technologies or embedded processing. For both of those categories, the explosion of data and what's causing the data, as well as wireless being used in other industries, Austin's very well positioned to, to play in those two trends. From the explosion in data, a lot of that is from new applications and mobile software. Well, Austin has a great legacy in building software, particularly in enterprise software. From the bioscience and clean energy side, um, Austin is very well positioned on, this, on the smart grid in particular. It has the Bacon Street project, which is a, uh, taking part of Austin's utility grid, turned into a big beta laboratory. It's supported by $29 million worth of DOE grant money. It turns out that in Austin, we also have a really vibrant bioscience, life sciences community. I believe there's over, well over 100 companies in the space, which you don't really think about it as Austin. But with the high technology and the capability of Austin and educated workforce, on top of being a great place to live, there actually is a really good um, emerging category here.